Hey everyone. Welcome, welcome. I am happy to be here. Hey Deb. I'm hoping this works because my computer is acting wonky. <laughs> Let me know if you can hear me. Hey, Maria. Yeah, you guys let me know if this looks good because my phone and my computer were apparently having a tiff because they were not happy with each other. <laughs> Hopefully this works. You never know with technology. Oh, good. Woohoo. All righty. Well, my computer will be nice. Come on, be kind. Oh, good. Okay. You know, my uh, computer is always behind my phone, so I can never tell. And I can't figure out why it's making me look pink lately. Why, oh, why is it doing that? Huh. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. All right. Hi, Patty. Hi, Michael. Oh my goodness, we're seeing lots of people tonight. All right. Happy Sunday. Happy Memorial Day weekend. Hola, Millie. I know, it is, Maria. It's kind of been a blah, well, yeah, kind of a blah day here, I guess. Oh, great. Thanks, Julie. All right. I guess the colors are looking kind of funky. You guys are just going to have to bear with me. I'll have to uh, see, see if I can make it look better when I put it into YouTube. I edit it and put it in there. Oh, there's Kathy. Hey, Kathy. All righty. So, um... I really wanted to play with something a little bit new. I know... Um, you guys are going to finally get to order from the new catalog in just not that long, actually. Tomorrow is, what, the 25th? So, yeah, not that long, just a little over a week. Um, and so I figured I would use some new end colors tonight. And I was chatting with uh, some of my friends um, on one of the Stampin' tutorial teams I'm on. And um, this was one of the designs that I haven't used in a long time, and I really love this one. And I thought I'd show you a couple ways to use some different punches. So that's always fun, right? Okay, thank you everybody for sharing. I really appreciate it. Um, if you haven't checked out, I have been adding the videos over on my YouTube channel at Suitably Stamped. And um, I really appreciate it if you guys go over and give me some likes and loves over there. I'm trying to build build things over there, so that would be wonderful. Um, if you haven't checked out the new um, paper share that I'm doing, this one is live now. Um, there's three different options on here, and there's actually a bonus option on here. So if you haven't checked this out, make sure you do. Um, this one, I'm going to be placing the order for this on June 3rd, the day it goes live, so that I can get paper for everybody. But this is going to be a great one, so check out the details on here, because this is really, really good. All right. Okie doke. So, tonight we're going to do this little easel. I guess it's an easel card. kind of stands up, like, like so. Really fun little, um, I don't know, I just love the way the design pops out but it's really it really is a little wow when you open it up so this one has some of the new in colors well a couple of them actually so this is the bumblebee back here the yellow and then if you check this one out here and I always get the name of this one wrong I'm really gonna have to work on this guys because I don't know all the new colors yet <laughs> this is misty moonlight right here and um, the paper that I'm using on this is actually from the six by six designer paper in color collection you know every year for the um, in colors we get a new six by six paper stack with um, 
different designs on them so that even if the colors carry over one more year, we still get a new design. So these are the new in colors in here and there's really pretty, pretty patterns in here. But I don't know about you, but for Memorial Day, it makes me think of summer and flowers and everything in my yard is in bloom, which I love. And I just love denim and daisies together. So I thought this fun denim um, pattern back here would look great with our daisies. So we're gonna do this one, all right? Okay, so before we start, let me give you some measurements. So my card base for this one is gonna be four and a quarter by 11. And remember, you don't need to write them all down. They'll be in the comments here later this evening and will also be on the video on my YouTube channel. All right, so four and a quarter by 11 scored at five and a half in the middle. Then I have a piece of the Misty Moonlight and this one measures four by 10 and a fourth. And then I'm gonna bring in my designer paper. Actually, I didn't cut this one back, back down. Let me pull that in here. You're gonna need one six by six piece of this one for um, the two pieces of designer paper we're going to use. So we're going to cut this one. I need one at three and three fourths by five. So we'll cut two inches off of this little six by six. Wait a minute. No, my hand off. Not good, Michelle. Don't start the evening measuring wrong. Lord have mercy. Did I get it right? Three and three fourths by five. Yes. Whew. Thank you, Lord. All right, that's that one. And then we're going to need a piece that's two and a fourth by three and three fourths. So two and a fourth, which is perfect, already there, by three and one fourth. No, sorry, three and three fourths. Lordy. Don't worry. The right ones will be written down. Never fear. Okay. There are the two pieces of designer paper. All right. There are those guys. And then we will need, I actually just opened a brand new pack whisper white. You can hear the angels singing. Love that. So my whisper white that I'm going to need is just going to be one for the inside. So let's cut an inside for this one at five and a quarter by four. And then we're going to need some scraps to punch out our daisies. And other accoutrements. <laughs> and I'll show you some other things too. All right, now I want to show you how to score this piece for our little easel piece here. It's pretty, pretty simple. And I know we've done these, um, the Z folds this way, like this. So this one's going to be just coming out this way. So it's kind of an easel, but kind of a Z fold. So whatever you want to call it, have at it. <laughs> All right, so let's take this piece of Misty Moonlight and we're actually going to score this one at, move my cutting blade away, we're going to score this one at two and a half and at five. Like that. Okay, two and a half and five. Give it a little, um, Fold and don't worry, this is supposed to be uneven here because we're going to fold this back on itself like so. Okay, see that? And we're going to be able to just open it like that. So don't worry if it's uneven, you didn't do anything wrong. All right, so once we have this done, let's go ahead and adhere our designer paper to the card front. I love this denim um, pattern. It really does. With the daisies, I think it just reminds me of farms and summer. Just happy. All right, so let's put this one on our inside here. Get that in there like so. There we go. And then we'll put our other piece, this one two and a quarter by three and three fourths, um, on the front little oops, flap there. couldn't resist the little ladybugs either. I thought those were really fun. So we'll be making some of those. There we are, right there. Just like that. 
All right, now this is ready to go onto the card base. So our four and a quarter by 11 card base scored at five and a half in the middle. This guy is gonna go right here on the front. Now this makes the really makes up really quickly and the best part is then you have time to just go back and be creative and design on top of it which is the part that I love all right so you want to have your fold down here at the bottom with your little mountain fold there and then at the bottom of this one so let's see let's just glue this one on here like so there we go All right, now I went ahead and um, stamped and cut out my Let's Celebrate You. And this stamp is from one of the new ones that's coming out called Celebrate Sunflowers, one of my new faves. I've been using this one a lot, making samples. So Let's Celebrate You is in there with some other really pretty fonts, love that. And I cut it out with my um, stitched rectangle dies. So I'm just going to glue this on flat because I'm going to build on top of it. So put that one on there. I love the decorating part. I think that's fun. Okay. Now we're going to bring some of that new, I've used this I think before already. Um, this is the new Bumblebee Gingham Ribbon adore this ribbon. I'm going to be using a ton of it, I can tell you already. So I'm just going to wrap this around under that first little fold and I'm going to bring it around over to the right or to the left, sorry. And I'm going to tie a knot and I want it kind of up in the upper, just above the halfway point horizontally. So I'm going to bring it over here can't tie it like that. I have to do it like this. Whoops. What did I do? Oh, there we go. I'm all thumbs tonight, apparently. All right, so I'm just going to bring it over here to the left, and you can mess around with it once you get the knot tied, because I actually am going to glue that little knot down with a glue dot, because I like to keep it in place. So, there we go. Did I crook? Oh, I did. Dog on it, Michelle suit. I wonder if I can do it. Flip it. Nope. Uh, I'll untie it later and fix it. Let's do a new one. Pay attention to how it is underneath. Do as I say, not as I do, apparently. Hey, for those of you who um, attended bingo last time, um, or those of you who didn't make it into the last bingo. Um, we are getting ready to put the dates up for the next bingo. So stay tuned because it is our virtual bingo and I am looking forward to it. I've already started getting new prizes and it's gonna be a blast. So keep your ears open. There we go, Whew, much better. All right, so let's get that a little even there and bring in glue dot. There we go. And I'm just going to stick a little guy under here, like I said, just to keep it in one spot. There we go. Alright, now I'm just going to trim these ends off for now because I'm going to go ahead and put my daisies in there and then I'll trim them for real for where I want them. All right, so these daisies on here are from the Medium Daisy Punch. And for each daisy on here, I punched two. So you need two, four, six, and seven, because that one we're gonna create together. I love these daisy punches, absolutely love them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, there's those guys. Then we're going to need our little half inch circle punch. If you don't have one, you need, you need, you need, you need to have one because <laughs> I use this all the time. Half inch circle and we'll bring in a little scrap of that bumblebee and we're going to need four 
little half inch circles. Okay. And then for our leaves, I know our leaf punch has already sold out, um, but that's okay with me because I use my perennial flower punch for leaves quite often anyway. So let me pull out my green here. Let's see. I do I use a garden green? Yeah. All right, so I'm just gonna punch out probably three or four of these little guys. I like to have extra leaves just in case. Those are my leaves. Again, that's the perennial flower punch. And we'll go ahead and build this and then we'll go back and do our little ladybugs. All right, so this little guy is stuck on there. So let's just go back with our daisies. Whoopsie. And lay these little guys out. Poor girls. I shouldn't say they were just one. All right, so I'm going to take three of these and put a little glue in the center. And you could always put um, a small dimensional in here if you wanted them to pop up pretty far. But you, um, if you're going to be adding a lot of things to it, you don't want to make it too bulky for mailing anyway. You're going to hand deliver it, no biggie. Here we go. Right there. And one more. And like I said, these this card, it's kind of a little wow factor when you open it up. So it's nice to have a design where it's a wow, but it doesn't take you forever to do it. You know what I mean? And I love that kind of card. All right, so I'm going to take my little floral centers and I'm going to put these in the middle of the three. Like so. And let those guys sit and marinate over there. Now, for my little um, daisy up here, that's kind of that little bloom that's folded over like that, we're gonna take one of the medium daisies and I'm just gonna cut it in half, like so. Oops, there we go. Then I am going to go in and trim off these little pieces. So there's only three full petals left. Let's get you guys over there. Three little petals left, like so, okay? So then I'm gonna take a little glue here in the center at the top, and we will offset these guys so it looks a little fuller, like so. So there's your little daisy as it's coming up. I love that. All right, now we have that other center we punched out with Bumblebee. And for this one, it's gonna be sitting up on top of that partial daisy there. I'm gonna take it just around the halfway um, of the center here. And I'm just gonna do just a little bit of a curve as I cut that off. So that's going to Give it just a little more dimension there, okay? All right, so we will put some glue at the top, and I'll show you. You're gonna want this one to sit up a little more. You don't want it to sit too far down onto the petals. You want it to kind of stick up above. I'll get my finger out of the way, like that. You see that? Oh, I can hear kids playing outside. Sorry, my window's open, it's so beautiful. <laughs> All right, so like that. So that's your little partial, partial daisy there, okay? So we'll lay him up there. Now, like I said, the leaf punch already sold out, but this perennial flower punch is available. And it is perfect because you can go in and just cut these little guys apart and get perfectly shaped leaves. And they're so nice to be able to tuck in right behind the flowers and just give it lots of sparkle with that green. Okay, 
So there's all our little pieces, parts and pieces. So you can see on my um, stitch rectangle here, I went ahead and I put some in. I tucked them in behind there and down here too. So we're gonna go ahead and build that up and we're gonna use a few dimensionals. Use our liquid glue again. There we go. So what I did for this on top of the knot right here, this is the one that I wanted to sit up more, okay? So I brought in a couple of glue dots right here and pop them here on the back of one of my full daisies to give it a little stability there. And I'm just going to glue that on top of the knot. Okay, just like that. Oh, thank you for the hearts. You guys are so sweet. Hey, Tony, I just saw you. <laughs> All right, just like that. Now, I'm going to go ahead and put my other daisies on, and then I'll go back and add my leaves. So, the... <clears throat> daisy that's back here that's over top of the ribbon but it's in the back that one went on flat so I'm going to put a little bit of glue here in the center and you want to make sure that you are whatever you have that's on the back it's going to show here on the back so the, the flower petals back here that doesn't matter but you don't want to have a whole lot of yucky stuff back there so make sure where you place it you don't have or you have your um, adhesive in the right place. So put that little guy there. And I'll bring in another one of the full ones. And I'm going to put this one on with a dimensional. Right here. Put this one down here. And you'll notice I'm doing the three, the odd number. Because <laughs> it would hurt my head if I didn't. We'll leave our ribbons until we're ready. And I'm going to bring in those little leaves from my perennial flower you guys over now this is the fun part because this is when you can start um playing with you know where you want to have color and that kind of thing so i'm just going to take my pen and i'm just going to roll it around my pen to look pen a little bit and i'm going to put some glue on the back and i'm going to just start sticking the leaves in so that the green pops out oh that's so pretty against the blue and the gingham i love gingham oh Love it. Like that. Put a little more. I'm going to tuck one in up here. And again, I want to make sure that I have it so that whatever's on the back of it, if it shows, it won't matter. I don't want it to be too messy behind there. That one. Like so. It's kind of like flower arranging. You get to just play. <laughs> There we go. We'll do another one over here. And even though I have four leaves down here at the bottom, that's okay. I know it's an even number because we're going to do three leaves up top. So we'll still have an odd number, which is much more pleasing to the eye. Like that. Stick that little guy down there. So stinking cute. There we go. All right. Now let's go in and trim. I don't want these to be too long. There we go. Oops. Well, that one didn't look good, huh? Let's go back in. Much better. All right. So there is our little ribbon gingham sticking out there cutie patootie all right now let's do our little partial um daisy at the top now this one has a dimensional underneath of it have it popped up just a tad on top of that sentiment go now, now i'm going to stick this one up here at the top like so there we go. And then I'm going to put two more leaves up here. 
Thanks, you guys, for coming. I really appreciate it. And I just saw how many people are here. Thank you, thank you. Don't forget, this will also be over on the YouTube channel. If you um, have missed any part of it, if you came in a little late or whatever, you are welcome to go over to my Suitably Stamped YouTube channel and check me out over there. All right, one more up here. And that little marker wants to be in the scene, huh? <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna tuck another one over here. I think I glued it really far over. That's okay. There we go. Like that. Uh, maybe not. Maybe. Oh, I like that. Like that. Yeah, like that. Cutie patootie. All right, so those are all of our leaves. Now, let's go in and do our ladybugs. So, I wanted to make something that was not a lot of steps to put on there and was easy to do. So, I pulled out my retiring, poor little guy, my elephant builder punch. Now that I've made ladybugs, I don't know, it might have to stay around for a little bit. <laughs> he kind of earned his way back in. Um... All right, so I brought my Elephant Builder Punch in, and I just punched a couple of the little pieces to use as my leg bags. And then, the really cool part for the, um, for the head. I brought in my piece of basic black cardstock and my medium daisy punch. Just punched one of those. Get that. Now, I've tried several different markers to do the dots on the ladybug, and I'll show you what I used. You are welcome to do whatever you would like. I'll just tell you, don't use the black Stampin' Blend because Stampin' Blends will bleed on this, okay? I brought in my black Sharpie, my trusty black Sharpie. And you just go straight down and straight up. Okay? Straight down and straight up. And there's your little ladybug dots. One, two, three, four, five. And then we'll do a little guy for the top. Come here. I'll do one, two, three, four, five. And that little ladybug can go over there till next time. All right, now for their little heads. Like I said, I punched out a black. Oh, hi, Kathy. Thank you. I punched out a black um, medium. And I'm just going to cut off. The very tips of three of the petals, like that. There we go. You guys need to move over. Then I will bring in my glue. Now for the first one, he's gonna be going this way. This little guy is gonna be going this way. And then on the inside, there's one that's going to be going to the left. Okay? So we're going to do three of these guys. So as I said, from the Elephant Builder Punch, you did these guys. Now these are part of the petals from your um, Medium Daisy with basic black. So just put a little dot of glue on the back. And just tuck that black petal in there. And you want to pull it in pretty far because their head isn't that big. But it usually is pretty level there at the bottom or pretty even, I'm sorry, with the bottom edge. I just wanna make sure you guys can see it. Can you see that? Like so. Hey, darling, how are you? My Michelle. So there's one little ladybug. Then we'll do another one that faces the other way. I thought this was pretty cool. This is one of those aha moments when you're creating. I love those. Like I said, I don't know if my Elephant Builder Punch is going to go away now that he made himself useful for something else. 
I am all fingers tonight, apparently. There we go. So like I said, see at the bottom edge, you want to have that so it's right down there at the edge, like that. So there's our two large ladybugs. Thanks, Millie. You're so sweet. And then our little ladybug is going to be facing the right side. So let's put a little bit of glue in there. And tuck our last little daisy petal piece behind there. And you can tuck this one in a little bit further so it's not such a huge head on there. Like that. Aren't they cute? Oh, they just make me smile. <laughs> All right. Don't you love when you're doing stuff and you're like, oh, cool. I thought that really made sense. Why didn't I do that before? All right, so this little guy here, he's gonna sit up here on this petal. Get my gook off of there. Just up here at the top. Gonna put him up here. He's gonna sit right on top of that little greeting there, like so. And then we'll put one of our bigger ones down here, sitting on top of our ribbon. And you could pop them up if you wanted to. I just liked them flat on here. This little guy. Or girl. No, actually, I learned that from a Disney movie. Ladybugs are actually boys. <laughs> I hope that was right. Who knows? All right, that guy, we're going to wait over here until we do our inside. All right, so now that's the front. I'm going to add a tad of sparkle because, hello, why not? When you've got a wink of Stella. <laughs> Hello, is that ever a question? I'm going to start over on the tops of my centers of my daisies, like so. And just add a little bit of sparkle here. Going to curve around. Give it a nice highlight there. Oh, so cute. There we go. Like that. All right, now let's do the inside. So I'm gonna open this up and I will bring in my card insert here. And what I did was I cut a couple pieces of that designer series paper. So this is a piece of the bumblebee, the wood grain, and this is one inch by four, what did I cut it? Four inches, yeah one inch by four inches and then this one is a half an inch by four inches so this one the little misty moonlight piece here with the denim side I'm going to glue that on it just gives it a little interest on the inside and I'll be honest I'm starting to do I think I've told you this guy you guys this before but I'm starting to do a lot of cards without a sentiment on the inside until I'm ready for an occasion where I need the card because you don't want to pigeonhole yourself and make it so you can't use a card. All right, those guys are all layered up. So I'm going to take this one and glue it in here. I if I did it. Yeah, I did it at the bottom. So I'm going to put it down here at the bottom. And I love having color like this on the inside. I think the texture and color when you open the card, I think it's really, really cool. And it's such a nice um, interest in there when you see it. All right, so I'm going to take this guy, my other little ladybug. We're going to glue him down here. Put this one over here this time. Over here. Like so. And for this one, because it has a white background, I went ahead and brought in one of my um, journaling pens and just did two little antenna with a little teeny dot on the top like that all right how cute is that oh that just makes me happy all right now for anybody who shares tonight um i'm gonna be mailing out this card so if you share we'll do a drawing tomorrow night to um you'll get this card in the mail that you can send to someone else I won't even write in it, I promise. <laughs> there we go. All right. 
there's the card inside. So when it stands up, nice and tall. Look how cute. Isn't that fun? Now you'll be able to see it. Oops, I need to tuck that guy in there. You'll be able to see it a little better once I shoot the pictures of it and have it on here later this evening. But um, honestly, guys, this is one of those cards. Like I said, it's a wow, and it just is so fun to sit and create and put things together. Um, I just love it, and I love, love, love the denim um, paper with this gingham ribbon, and it just, this just looks like summer to me. So happy, happy Memorial Day. Um, all right. If you need anything, don't forget, if you haven't gotten a catalog yet, the catalogs that I had shipped out from the Stampin' Up! mailing selector have started arriving in mailboxes. So if you still need one, let me know, and I'll send one to you from here. Um, I know the mail is a little wonky right now, and that's okay. Um, but if you need any supplies, get. this is still the May host code for this month. Um, it's suitably stamp.stampinup.net. Here's the host code, and when you use that, you get a gift in the mail from me. It's a big tutorial bundle from Stampers Anonymous, which is really, really cool this month. And um, also, don't forget to go over and check out my YouTube channel. Okie doke. Thank you guys for joining me. I really appreciate you being here. It's wonderful seeing all your names pop up and feeling like we're connected. I hope you have a wonderful Memorial Day. Stay safe, stay well, and God bless you guys, and I will see you again. Um, I'll be posting tomorrow morning what we're going to be doing tomorrow night for Make It With Me Monday. So join me here tomorrow night for Make It With Me Monday. All right. Love you guys. Have a great night. Bye.